Kadarius Toney from the New York Giants. He's standing offsides for the last play. Okay, it's not the last play, but you get it. Second and 10, they still had an opportunity after this. Kadarius Toney, clearly offsides. Now, Patrick <laughs> Mahomes is not happy about it, clearly offsides. Go ahead and run this thing. Uh, this becomes the cleanest play yeah. I've ever seen made by a skill position player. Travis Kelsey with the <laughs> quick release, yeah. Dan Marino, so perfect spiral, having the gut sack to do that. Obviously huge. Having the ability to throw a ball 20 yards while running full speed, about to get tackled with a quick release to a guy, brilliant. Having the forethought to be able to do, brilliant. All those things. And I listened to him talk about this on Pardon My Take with uh, PFT, where PFT was like, hey, this needs to become a thing. PFT's been pounding the drum for this for a long time. Travis said the first time he did it was in like 2018 or 2017 or something like that. He threw it to LaShawn McCoy. LaShawn McCoy went for like 20 yards. Yeah. So he comes off the field and he's like, just waiting for Andy Reid to say something to him, whether good or bad. Like, why would you ever do that? Immediately after the game, Andy Reid comes up to him and says, what if we did that every single play? And then <laughs> Travis's brain, like, melted at the moment. And Travis talked about the risk-reward. Mm -hmm. You know, like, if you pitch to a guy and he only gets three yards, like, was it worth pitching the ball at all in this True. entire thing? Is the guy paying attention that I'm going to do this? Mm -hmm. There's a lot that goes into it. I think he was a high school quarterback too, Travis. Yeah. Yep. So, I so like, he, and he, he even explained in the clip that I saw in part of my take where he was like, now I try to know, like, hey, where's the running back going to be? Who's on the other side of the field? Like, he's trying to learn mm -hmm. where everybody is so that he could potentially do that. In the biggest moment, they pull it off, except for Kadarius Tony being off sides. Mm -hmm. Now, Gene Steratore gave an incredible answer about this entire thing. Like, hey, refs don't want to call offensive offsides. I think it's been called 11 times this year. Yeah, that's what someone said this morning. I think it's been called 11 times this year, three times last year. Like, people don't want to call this. You want to have a conversation with the coaches. You want to tell people to get back. Unless it is egregious. Mm -hmm. And this was a blatant offsides. His head and Von Miller's head are almost <laughs> touching each other. Yes. And if you look at normal lineup, look on the other side, that's a normal lineup. On Literally, line of scrimmage, yeah. yeah, that is a normal. Everybody's like, well, his foot's on the ball. It's where the ball is. It's like, yeah, but your head, you see. The head is, it, it's like, it's just, that is not how Mm. Like, Darius Tony messed up here. Yeah, you know, can't sure. do it. Don't sure. love that it took place. And the refs probably, as they're watching the play unfold, are going, uh, uh, no. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> no. But Patrick Mahomes was not happy about it because this, call, this has only been called 11 times all year. Here's what Patrick Mahomes had to say about it afterwards. I mean, it's I mean, obviously tough to swallow. Um, I mean, not, not only for, for me, but just for football in general. I mean, just to take away greatness like that, I mean – for a guy like Travis okay. to make a play like that. And who knows if we win. But as I know as fans, you want to see the guys on the field decide the game. And that's why last week I didn't say anything about the flag. They didn't get called on the Marquez. And so, I mean, I, it, I mean they're human, man. They make mistakes. But, I mean, I'm, I'm, it's every week we're talking about something. And yeah. all I can do is go out there and give everything I have. And I'm proud of the guys because that's what we did. And it was a great football game that ended – Another great football game that just ended like that. It's just tough, tough to swallow. The first time we've ever seen Patrick Mahomes act the way he acted afterwards, he was visibly upset with the side yeah. judge. I think he was trying to go to bat for his guy, though, too, Kadarius yes. Tony, right? Because the easy answer here, the internet said it about Kadarius Tony. This guy's a goof. Why is this yeah. guy always around losses and being the reason for the Kansas City Chiefs? He's new there. Uh, he had a massive punt return for them in a Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That immediately mm -hmm. gets forgotten about. This season has a little, been a little bit different. But this type of action from Patrick Mahomes, and then what he said afterwards about, you know, it's always something with him. And a majority of humans around the football world are like, Pat, you're wrong. You're wrong. Mm -hmm. But I think he's going to bat for his guys. And he's also speaking what a lot of people think about the refs not making decisions. Andy Reid would go on to say it was a bit embarrassing for the NFL for that to happen. So both guys, Pat and Andy, came out and said, like, this is not good. The rest of the world said they made the right call. Joining <laughs> us now is a man to see what the, uh, you know, what's the ripple effects of yeah. this thing. Mm. Senior NFL insider for ESPN, Michigan man, Adam Schefter. Yeah, Shefty. 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 Gentlemen, what's going on? Shefty, I apologize for making you wait there a few moments as we laid it out, but I think this is a big deal because Patrick Mahomes, face of the league, okay? We never see Patrick Mahomes do this. This is very out of character for Patrick Mahomes. Uh, our immediate thought is, oh, the NFL is going to find the hell out of Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid for all of this. Is that how you see this kind of turning out? And what do you think the next steps are for all parties? Well, I don't think the NFL likes for people to come out and question officiating, something that the league doesn't take kind to. And so I would imagine that Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid both potentially could get fined this week for What's their comments. What's that look like? What's that look like? What is that normal? 
it depends how much of a message the league would want to send. And in this case, whether the league would be willing to offer any leniency or whether they'd want to risk the wrath of the face of the league and Patrick Mahomes and upset him before the holidays and levy a fine that would be stiffer than normal? Or do you want to say, you know what, Patrick, don't do this again. Don't do this again. Please don't criticize the officials. They are under enough pressure and scrutiny as it is. We don't need you piling on. So there's a couple of ways the league could go about handling this. And the same would be true of Andy Reid, who never comes out and says the kind of things that he does. But he questioned officials officials as well after the game. So when you've got Andy Reid doing that, when you've got Patrick Mahomes doing that, clearly uh, they had an issue. And the thing is, is that it was the right call. Now, you may get a speeding ticket for going 61 in a 55 zone that you don't like. You're like, 61? What are we doing here? But the fact of the matter is, you were speeding. And if you look at the view, he is lined up off sides. Yes. Is it ticky-tacky? Absolutely. Not really. Is it ridiculous? Yes. Do we lose this highlight forevermore? What would have been one of the great plays of of Mahomes and Kelsey's career? So that when Travis Kelsey is going to the Hall of Fame, one day we see that highlight. We see, look at this play that he made down the stretch. But that's wiped out now by this offsides that Kadarius Tony was on. I mean, he's offside. Yeah. He's we, offside. We all agree, Schefter, literally, we all agree that, like, Kadarius t- can't happen. From Kadarius mm-hmm. Tony, like, this cannot even be a question. He ends up being the guy that scores the touchdown. Too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? So, like, it, it, he wanted this on his right. highlight reel as well. <laughs> he, I would, it was great. Pat, he catches the ball. He turns around. He's happy. He's celebrating. Mm. Kelsey recognizes something's going on. He looks back to see what the – Tony has no idea that he lined up offside. Like, what happened? Yeah. Well, you were offside. You were offside. I and saw, they called it. I saw Booger McFarlane put out a tweet about mm-hmm. the speeding metaphor as well, where he said, like, 60 and a 55. This feels like a 60 and a 45. Sure. You know what I mean? This yep. feels like a 60 and a 45, because they'll probably give you nine. Right? Nine, you're fine. Fine. Ten, you're mine, is what mm-hmm. I, yep. I think you hear. I think he was maybe going, like, 57 in a 45, just because... I mean, that's an easy decision to make. It's just a brain fart, too. Tight. Like That can happen to humans. Mm-hmm. But I do appreciate that Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid publicly very much came out and were like, Saw that th- this ain't Tony's <laughs> fault. Mm-hmm. This is the ref's fault. So it's going to be a fine. Uh, obviously, we're all... By, bu- by the way, there's a lot of people that say a lot of things about the officials. Very few of them are willing to put their name and face on it. Agreed. There's a lot of people that have a lot of problems with the officials, and they rip them, and they criticize them. And... Ask the league office what it's like on a typical Monday, how many calls they're going to get to see about coaches complaining about a certain call. Like, that's one of the hardest jobs in the world, I think, uh, to do that, to take those calls, to answer these men's questions and points, because more often than not, they're right. Yeah. And the officials are wrong. Yeah. But. And careers change and legacies change and people get fired and all that stuff. Nobody wants to be a ref. So, those that sign up to do it, we appreciate you. Against the Giants. Um, oh, they yeah. went in and scored a late touchdown. And he actually he checked, checked with the yeah. ref. Yeah, like checked. we all saw, like, hey, like three times. It messed and up. he was too far off the ball, so the ref threw the flag. So we do see it, but it's something you rarely see. So I get it from both sides. Uh, but no, Big Red is pretty pissed off. He's just mo- they're moving on, but they won't forget this. Mm-hmm. No way. No. Tony won't. I wonder if the ref was that ref on that side yelling. I'm sure it was loud, but he hey! yelled, back up, back, Man. Tony, get back. Like they'll use it. That's what well, they will try to help. Maybe there wasn't enough time. I don't know, but man. Yeah, usually they give you a warning, right? They'll say, hey, hey, you're, you're covered. I can't see the ball. You need to back up a little bit, something. So I think Terry, the, the ref, said it was just too egregious yes. to even give him a warning. Which it was. Um, Gene Steratore you know, said the same like, thing in his tweet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gene, Gene Steratore in his tweet basically said, don't want to call these. Normally there is a conversation, but when it is this egregious, flag has to be thrown. Like he's almost headbutting Von Miller. <laughs> yeah. I mean, know? Yeah. What's the rule? I think was is the back of the ball or the front of the ball? I don't know. So I know the furthest you can be Are back you supposed is to be like, off the center's hip. Yeah, no, hip that's the like center. the furthest you can be back. Like you can't, you can't break his hip mm. line, so you can't be lined up. No, you have ass. to break his hip line. The offensive lineman. Your yeah. head has or to. Like, yeah, your okay. head yeah. has to break the hip. Yeah, it, I mean, it was bad. But Von Miller was, you know, they were pretty much hit. Yeah, and the next ball. play, hey, Von Miller ball. potentially yeah. gets off a little. Yeah, early. yeah. but it happens. That was the first time I'd ever seen Mahomes. Yeah. Yeah. The next play. Freak. It was like, I had oh, to feel he- good. I had to feel good for Patrick though to get all that out. Get all, whatever it whatever I, RC had an interesting take saying, yeah, like this is the first time he's got a chance to kind of 
freak out and go crazy. He's been handling himself so well. And he did mention, I know, what happened last week. So that's been building for sure. So he just got somebody. I think he was protecting his teammate at the same time as well. Yeah, I think he – this Kadarius Tony should watch this and say, like, okay, Patrick Mahomes has my back. And then Patrick Mahomes came out, I believe, and said – yeah, he was offsides, but you can't call that. No, no, no. Which a lot of people feel, potentially, because it is game-winning drive. But the ref, whenever he called that, didn't know that it was going to become one of the greatest plays Right. Would they ever time. call it dead? Would they ever blow that dead? Because I don't know. What's the rule? Uh, probably no, because yeah. the question you guys have. It never happens. Does the opposing team's quarterback have the ability <laughs> to say, like, oh, you're right, Patrick, we won't take this win? Well, I think, I don't know if they have that power, but with the double, <clears throat> with the tap of the chest, mm-hmm. there was a news clip that basically came of Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen's interaction immediately afterwards. Here's what Patrick told Josh Allen, and then here's Josh Allen's response, obviously. All right, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. we lost because of the luck. fucking coin toss, pal. <laughs> all right, all right, dude. All right, dude. There was a hit piece wrote on our coach this week. Yeah. All right, all right man. we're going through a lot over all here. Right, dude. That's one of the things you're so pissed, you're just going to tell it to every and anybody you see in the next 30 seconds. Like, yeah, you need to hear yeah. it. You mm-hmm. need to hear yeah. it. Josh is like, you should see what's going on with my fucking ear. Yeah, yeah. I wish, I wish, Josh. Yeah. Yeah, I wish Buddy, he could have fired back. I don't know if we have enough time right yeah. now. We're having a hell of a time over here. <laughs> Gotta get in. <laughs> fucking prick. We're fighting for the playoffs, okay? I think it tells us so that Josh and Pat very tight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think that's what that tells us. Is Patrick felt a, he could potentially, you know. Confide. Like, oh, yeah, almost confide like <laughs> yeah. a therapist almost. You understand what yeah, I'm saying. Right. It's hard to win. It's, it's, fucking bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> it's hard to win. You ever seen that? <laughs> it's hard to you. Tough. That's awesome. I love it. And, uh. I also thought we saw it in Patrick the next couple plays. Very abnormal. Like three more plays after. the Patrick Mahomes gets on the field. We need it. We know what's happening. Exactly what happened yeah. on that play. Yeah. To who? Travis Kelsey. Mm-hmm. And then obviously Travis Kelsey now also playing quarterback to Kadarius Tony. Yep. Mm-hmm. If two completions, what that's like oh. the Mahomes magic. Like that is what the Chiefs are. As soon as that didn't happen, it felt like Patrick even was like, that was that was our opportunity. The whole vibe on the Chiefs offense mm-hmm. was not what it normally is. I don't want to say it's like they mailed it in, but it did feel like they knew like that was our shot. That right was the there. one. And I think this is the, is this the one that gets batted by Oliver? No, this one where his elbow gets hit and he misses. Yeah, it's like yeah. all three plays were just not good, mm-hmm. and the vibes on Patrick's face were not what we normally see. Chewing his tongue, yep. you know, like, <laughs> mm-hmm. give me the play, mm-hmm. give me the play, here we go. It was, he couldn't wait to go tell that ref. Yeah. Like, you know, that's, what, that's that. the first time yeah. that yeah. we have seen that. And he's a human. I think as we just, mm-hmm. it's like whenever we see Tom for the first time, slam his helmet or motherfuck somebody on the mm-hmm. sideline or get into it. It's like you, we see Patrick Mahomes and we watch quarterback. He was awesome in there. Yes. Super cool, super chill. Drinking Coors Light, seems like a human, Love talking it. shit, doing his thing. We have to remember that these people that are at the top, okay, their competitive juices are higher than yours are. Mm-hmm. They're higher than, and I'm not talking about just professionals. I'm talking about the motherfuckers. We know who were the people at the top. It was well documented in the last dance yeah. with yes. Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. If Peyton Manning was to have a documentary, it'd be well documented in there. Tom Brady, it was documented, yep. uh, documented in his entire thing in, mm-hmm. in Song in and arena. Dance. Yeah, the man in the arena. It's like these, Serena Williams, whenever they talk about Serena, it'll be the same fucking thing like Mm -hmm. i assume her practices workouts Mm -hmm. her trainers like Mm -hmm. if people aren't bringing i assume there's a there's an expectation of others being great as well and that sometimes jokovic sometimes can be an asshole yeah oh yeah can come across as an asshole Mm -hmm. and jordan even said you call me an asshole okay you've never won anything is like basically what he said i can tear it up it's still six years old if you don't want to play like don't, Don't play. play. No yeah, that's yeah. that's what I'm saying. So, These people at, and Patrick Mahomes, we've deemed him oh yeah. to oh yeah. be one of those elite Mount Rushmore type athletes, not just football player type athlete. It's like his mental. We just saw a little bit, I think, of the rage that's with the competitive drive that's within, and uh, I think it's very normal. Is uh, that's what I'm. I think this is a very normal thing, but we've never seen it from Patrick publicly. And I want to let him know, I appreciate the fact that that fucking dog is in there. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I appreciate because we've seen him with Max Crosby talking his shit and everything like that. But, like, the pissed off accountability happens with all of them at the yeah. top. And it's like this is welcome to the club, I guess, Patrick, officially yeah. in this entire thing. Well, and don't you think it helps 
Patrick with his teammates as well, the fact that he's going crazy on the official. And, yeah, there may be some, like, towards Tony, like, all right, yeah, just come on, man. You, you know how to line up. But he's protecting his teammate a little bit. He's going crazy. He has, he's showing everybody he kind of has that crazy fire when there's probably some young guys on the team that don't know him that well, and they love seeing that. Like, okay, all right, man. Like, I can ride with this dude 100%. I know that much. And so I think it, it's only – his teammates will, will take all positivity from that. I'm sure on the outside people want to argue, oh, is this passion or are you gonna did somebody else you'd say was a bad teammate or whatever? But he's not yelling, mm-hmm. he's not going crazy and embarrassing someone on his team. Yeah, he's this is going a common enemy of everybody at that moment on the team. Yes. Which is the referee. And uh some people call him a child. Yeah. yeah a lot of people. A lot of people call him a child. Yeah. 